and then. So I so, can make a, a simple counter. No, 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 no. I just was trying to make sure I understood the concept. And and so the thing you showed me before, before we were doing binary, which was just so zero and there's two or wait, well, yeah, on and off, right? Right. Um, yeah, zero and one, it's base two. Yeah, or, base two. Thank you. Yeah. And this is a base 16. So it's, it's right. zero through nine and then A through F. Right. And it's 16 because that had something to do with the amount of memory. Um at the time is that right i don't know why they chose 16 to be blatantly honest with you i have no idea um i think it's yeah it might be the sixty-five thousand whatever uh -huh. i don't really honestly know uh the number and then number and then we'll start at one and then GUI show Oh. I can uh, GUI add of one. I believe that should be enough. And then, oh yeah, you lose the include at the top or or. Yeah, G go. Yeah, so um, go. I'll just even use a label. Yeah. I'm typing with gloves on. It's kind of chilly. So. Okay. So we can, well, I'll add in a. Uh, yeah, that's where I want to GUI add. Um, come on, brain. Uh, text. With, yeah, let's just go 100 just to be. And then V display. So now what I would do is GUI control. Um, nothing there. I did that backwards. Well, not backwards, kind of sideways. <laughs> there we go. And then format zero x. Oop, forgot the colon. And then this will be number. So that should be seven, eight, nine. Ten is a. Eleven is b. Twelve is c. Thirteen is d. 14, 15, 16. Well, 15, because zero is still, you know. So 15 is F, then you go 16. Now we increment this up to one, and that like, and that goes to zero because you've gone all the way through zero through nine, A through F. So we're just adding a one in the tens quote unquote place it's the 16s place or whatever but then you have to start back at zero so 17 is going to be 11 and so on and so forth 13 14 15 16 then um well 17 18 19 sorry now we go to 1a 1b 1c 1d 1e 1f then 32 since we're all base 16 32 starts 20 and so on and so forth. And everything just kind of keeps incrementing from there. So let's go ahead and with 100. There we go. So yeah, it's just 14, 15, 16 starts the second place setting. 32 will go to 20. And then uh, 40. Uh, eight, yeah, 48 goes to 30 and so on and so forth. So that's how base 16 counting works. It's really weird, but it's basically the same thing as what you're used to in base 10, except once yeah. you get past nine, you got to keep going. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so the only way to keep picture. going is to A, B, C, D, E, F. Right. And then now you're back to square one. And then at um, 
at the the two fifty five. Mm -hmm. That is that have anything to do with the base system, or that's just where colors meet? Their... Um, that's just where base sixteen kind of craps out. I mean, oh yeah, I gotta change the range. Zero, come on, zero through thousand. So two fifty five, and it's not like it stops. What the uh -huh. hell? Oh, can you only go to an up down a yeah. one? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you could do so two fifty six. You just Any adding point? another decimal place over. Hold on a second, chat. What? Dinner. Um, there's stuff in the fridge. Why? Uh, mom, Whatever. Okay. Bye. Bye. Sorry. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. It was nothing. Um. That's um. Good. Yeah. Sorry. So what we said? It, it said it after after the two fifty five at what? Two fifty five. We're at FF. So now we've gone 16 and 16. So if we go to 256, it's going to be 100 because we've rolled over again. So Oh, the next. Yeah, I, I, I can see. We need another. The zero has to be there. Right. Um, yeah, I get it. Um, so you can go further. Right. In decimal. And with the... Um, what was the, there it is. So this decimal equivalent oh, here. Yeah. Should give us 2E. Oh, sorry. Do, 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 do. So it gives us, it's reversed. The actual code was 36A8 2E. I just flipped it accidentally for, for BGR. So but yeah the it's 36 a 82 e is the actual representation rgb of this so oh i see okay yeah okay come on tag on it zoom quit it so that is the at least rgb equivalent of uh of this decimal here. Well, I, uh, um, so this is wrong. That's the hexadecimal representation of of RGB, right? Is that well? What I have selected is the decimal version. Right, right. This the, is the hex version of it. Okay, I thought you said that's the RGB version. Well, it's um, the the decimal version of the RGB value. Yeah, yeah, and that's the that's the part that I think it's messing me up is the rgb quote unquote nothing is rgb the R, R, um you have a hexamal representation of it and a decimal representation of it but that the one that's above the one you're on is it gets converted to a decimal yeah or or the hex value of it right but, yeah, anyway yeah the rgb most of the time it's if it's not this in like um Oh, poop. Um, like HTML and stuff like that, it would be the 36A82E. So with the hash, but it just basically takes the place of this. It's the same notation. It's just, you know. Well, that was one. Yeah, explain that again real quick, because this is the one before. This is what I was mentioning earlier, where you said, oh, take this and put the OX, 0X in front of it. Yeah. And, and that's where I'm like, what is what are, what you're showing right now? That's the HTML? HTML will, if you give a color code that's not like red or green or blue, the, the actual words, red, green, blue. Yeah. And there's several different colors that HTML understands. But right. if you just take the hexadecimal which would be this here and instead of putting a zero x in front of it put in a, a pound sign then um html can understand that oh okay so this is 
the RGB value. So it's, it's okay. basically a whole lot easier for people like me or people like anybody to, all right, the first two digits are the intensity of red. Yeah. The second two are the intensity of green, the third two are right. blue. Right. And then you just keep counting up from, from nothing. Yeah. That just seems anyway. Okay. Um, I'm just surprised they smell like why not just leave it as zero X and, um, so less code, less to transfer across. Less, the, yeah. All right. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Back in the day, internet was, well, for that matter, then why not just leave it as an X then? <laughs> At least um, actually, um, if you just leave it X, it can be interpreted as a Unicode symbol. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Because, yeah, with Unicode, um, a lot of notation for that is X with um, how many ever digits beyond it. Yeah, and actually, now that I think about it, the, um, in HTML, don't a lot of them begin with the pound sign? What's that? Oh, just some their their codes. Their, I guess they, they all don't, but I, I've seen a bunch that do. Just start off with, I thought they start off with the pound sign, but maybe I'm misremembering it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the percent two zero is a space, right? The um, I just thought I was thinking that more a lot of them started with the pound sign, but maybe not. Yeah, well, percent two zero being the space that's just um, uh, URI encoding, right? Of, you know, of something that can't be represented right. in, yeah, okay, and that's what I was thinking of as the HTML. ASCII code, whatever they are. I don't know how mm -hmm. to discuss it. Okay. Well, like I said, yeah, thanks. That, um, it's just stuff I don't deal with much, and, and I didn't know the the decimals. I didn't remember if we actually covered that or not, but... Yeah, yeah, decimal. I mean, if you go low enough, you can get the decimal to be, you know, six or even, like, well decimal 255 is red so anything below that it it's kind of kind of nebulous really as to how well let's just go r so this right here should be just 255 oh Oh, no, wait, that's right. Yeah, 65. That's, I think, the largest eight bit. I forget how many bits it is, but yeah, I'll just exit that. But yeah, for whatever reason, if you do send 255, it, it becomes, and I think if you decimal wise keep going lower and lower and lower mm -hmm. it just it reduces all of the colors equally so what you had considered like a brownie colored it's just yeah. everything just kind of is low I, I understand what you're saying right so oh, why do i keep getting message oh freaking walmart go away yeah, I forgot the RGB. So actually, I think if you go B, yeah, there you go. Because everything, um, everything is left to right. So the R, so you'll notice that when I brought it up to 255, yeah, I saw it there. Yeah. It was like 65,280. Right. Ah. Right, but we didn't the far right. It was stayed at 255. Well, so if I do here, do it here, then you've got, got 4080. Right. So it's just as you go from red to green to blue, the um the values basically multiply by 255 or whatever times 255. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Big blocks of numbers 
held in reserve for the lower, but it starts on the blue. Right. Yeah. 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 Blue's where it starts, zero to yep. 255, and so on and so forth. Okay. But yeah, if you just have a number, then, and it's not above the 65 or the 255 threshold, then it just kind of like RGB 111 273. Okay. I expect, huh. Be because of what we just said, even though I understand it's 111, but that the R should have been, it it's the first, like, you know. Well, the B, all right, so let's take B up to 255. Uh huh. And so that should notice, barely affect it, right? No, it's going to go way up. Because the 255, the B value, being on the end, you've got to go to 255 before you can carry over on the G. Yeah. But if you've only got it down to one, then the furthest you got to go is up to 255 for the G, then up to 255 for the B, or the R, excuse me. Well, we'll do the 255 for the R and leave the rest the same. Yeah, it'll go up to 65,000. Right. Okay. Well, how about just make make it a make it a So, yeah. 65,297 or whatever the hell that was. Yep. 281. What if, what if R What if R is a 2 instead of a 1? R is 2 instead of a 1? Yeah. So, this 2 right. instead of a yeah. 1. Yeah. Oh, okay. That... Man, I still would have thought that'd be a lot higher. Yeah, because you're going two seventy three. Yeah, it's just it's not working the way I originally had thought. Right. Um, it's not a. It's not the. It's not the R is between forty thousand and sixty thousand. No, it's, no, no, it's no, not no. That. It's, yeah, it kind of scales with. Yeah. The values okay. below it. Okay. So that one was two or five twenty nine. Oh, that's funny. Um, so 29 to 45, so about 20 ish, 16. So that makes sense because we moved up 16. We moved up 16 because everything's base 16. We go from one to two. Yeah. Does that happen with every time you move one of those up a level, it jumps 16? Um, well, this one, yes because we had to move over so i mean i can i can create something come on no that's not where i wanted to go there we go Yeah. Come on, dude. VG. Minus G zero. That's one hundred. Oh boy. And then duplicate that. Oop. I'm not too. Your keys are different to mine. Okay, so that should be fine. And then all I got to do, well, I'll have to um, do two. So, uh, RGB, whoops, plus zero RGB colon equals that. Oops. Oh, right. You tell me. So there's the R value. There's the G value. There's the B value. 
So one, one, and one should be the, the 273. Drop that down, 257, 73. And it's going to go, every one of these that goes up, it's gonna go up 16. But for every one of these, it's just gonna go up one. one right, and how much, make the last one zero and do the first one a couple of times. So it's, that one's the 256, okay. Yes, yeah, 256, 5, 12, 7, 10, 24. Yeah, that know. one we have memorized pretty much. Yes. RAM stuff. Anyway. Right. Um, so each increment of the R value is going to be 256. Yeah. Now this, I'm glad you made this version because now it, it really makes it easy to understand how that uh, decimal value is um, created okay. and, and affected differently by each color. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So each one of these 256 and it's nice because it, it knows that, okay, how many times 256 go into each one of these numbers, so on and so forth. Cool. But yeah, so yeah, 256, 16, and then one. But each one has to get so far out of the way of the other one. So there's 10 and then 26 because you got your 16. So 10 plus 16, 26. Mm -hmm. And this one, 256 becomes 266 because 256 plus 10, 266. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I'm doing um, RAM, oh come on. I'm hitting the wrong damn keys. Oh, whoops. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. That's how that works. Good grief. What the hell? <laughs> oh, best Buy now. Yeah, Best Buy wants some of the money that I don't have. Yeah. Everybody wants some of the money I don't have. But yeah, that's how that works. So. All right. Awesome. Thank you. That it's a lot it's 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 not a lot in total volume, but it it's it's yeah, some uh, sort of thick concepts, but it none of it really is, right? It's it's all pretty basic stuff, just not so obvious if you don't have someone explain it to you. I'd hate to try to learn that by reading it. Um, I, yeah, I, it's it's weird. I like the two-digit alphanumeric notation or the hexadecimal notation so uh -huh. much better. Uh -huh. You don't have to think. Right. So, okay. You put in two-digit, 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 it does all of the crazy math for you. Right. So, But yeah, hex is, hex is a weird one. Yeah. You just got to, you know, you get so used to counting in tens yeah right right binary is weird yeah well we we did that one video and that yeah it's like one ten what <laughs> yeah it's like okay two is ten three is eleven four is um a hundred <laughs> five is what is it? Uh, 101, 6 is 110. It's just crazy. But yeah, um, do you need anything else? No, that's good. Thank you. All right, I got to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Thank you. See bye. You.